In the United Kingdom, they benefit their citizens that smoke by promoting vaping as a harm reduction strategy. Their vaping policies are based on thousands of published scientific articles. I'm going to read you some quotes from esteemed medical organizations. The Royal College of Physicians stated, the harm from smoking is therefore caused not by nicotine, but by the other constituents of tobacco smoke. And the hazard to health arising from long-term vapor inhalation from e-cigarettes available today is unlikely to exceed 5% the harm from smoking tobacco. The Royal College of General Practitioners stated, the evidence so far shows that e-cigarettes have significantly reduced levels of key toxicants compared to cigarettes, with average levels of exposure falling well below the thresholds for concern. Public Health England stated, our new review reinforces the finding that vaping is a fraction the risk of smoking, at least 95% less harmful, and of negligible risk to bystanders. The Royal Society for Public Health England stated, the Public Health England report reflects on an up-to-date evidence base that is increasingly pointing in the same direction. Not only that vaping is at least 95% less harmful than smoking, but also that it is helping increasing numbers of smokers to quit. International health-related nonprofits in the UK also promote vaping. Action on Smoking and Health stated, e-cigarettes have proved to be an important gateway out of smoking, not into it. And the lifetime cancer risk of vaping has been assessed to be under 0.5% the risk of smoking. To learn more, please visit vaep.info.